i ngā mana, i ngā reo, i ngā iwi. Tēnā koutou katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 IAB New Zealand Digital Advertising Awards Virtual Showcase. Please welcome your host, Hayley Sproul. Ngā mihi nui kia koutou katoa. Welcome to the IAB New Zealand Digital Advertising Awards. I'm your host, Hayley Sproul, from Have You Been Paying Attention, The Great Kiwi Bake Off, or perhaps you recognise me from that one unfortunate time I appeared on Police 107. However you may know me, I'm delighted to be here in a frock that miraculously still fits, despite my greatest efforts these last two years, and I'm ready to guide you through these awards in a format you're all quite familiar with the digital realm. And boy, hasn't the digital world been getting us through these tough times, eh? I mean, meetings online, school online, online shopping. I mean, it's safe to say Zoom was the website of this pandemic. Maybe tied with Pornhub. I'm ready to have fun this evening. So whether you're in your workplace watching or you're at home on the couch, half watching, half scrolling on Trade Me for a set of dumbbells because 2022 is the year you are going to get fit and you've just realised that February's almost over. I hope you've got a glass of something fizzy and you're ready to celebrate. Now, we're lucky to have a few speakers joining us this evening to mix things up and give you a bit of a break from my voice, which, according to Twitter, can be a bit twangy. First up, I'd like to invite Jill Stewart, CEO of the IAB New Zealand, to officially open up the awards. Over to you, Jill. Thanks, Hayley. We're delighted to have you as our host this evening. And welcome, everyone, to the 2021 IAB New Zealand Digital Advertising Awards Virtual Showcase. The awards simply wouldn't be possible without the generous support of our long-standing sponsors. Google, Lumo Digital Outdoor, Magnite, Master Inch, Meta, Nielsen, Rover, Trade Me and TVNZ. And we're pleased to welcome Salesforce as a new sponsor for the first time this year. The involvement of our sponsors goes beyond their financial support. Each of them have been generous with their time and expertise in helping shape the awards from the entry criteria to the delivery of this event, and they share a commitment to excellence in the delivery of digital advertising here in New Zealand. Digital advertising revenue in New Zealand commands a 46% share and it's growing. It's not surprising that we've received record award entries again this year, and despite difficult circumstances, they were up 10% on 2020. This evening, we're celebrating 104 finalists across five award categories and 55 winners. And we're delighted for the first time to be introducing Silver Awards. This year, we have received input from a panel of almost 100 industry experts, all of whom are often stretched in their own roles, but find the time to take considerable interest in judging these awards and contributing to the industry, so thank you. As you all know, 2021 was a challenging year, But it was hugely rewarding for IAB. Membership continues to grow. Our councils have record membership and content and quality of delivery ensures that our membership value proposition is meeting and exceeding expectations. I'd like to thank each of our council chairs, vice chairs and their teams for their depth of engagement and commitment to IAB New Zealand. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank Reese, our board, and the incoming chair, Gareth Codd. Last September, Reese Heron completed a stellar three years as IAB New Zealand chair. I'm proud to say that his commitment, diligence, and strategic leadership has taken us to a new level. Reese handed board leadership to Gareth Codd, GM Operations and Digital Transformation Media Works. Gareth continues to provide outstanding leadership to a fully engaged, experienced and committed board. It's time now to welcome a hand over to Gareth Codd, IAB New Zealand Chair. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou kato. Good evening and welcome to the IAB New Zealand 2021 Digital Advertising Awards. We're delighted to be with you this evening and while it would have been tremendous to be with you all in person and be able to shake the hands of the finalists and winners, we're very excited to bring you this virtual event. I'm Gareth Codd, Chair of IAB New Zealand. It's been a very big year for the IAB and like everybody watching online tonight, we've had to navigate the change of business landscape over the past 12 months. I'm very proud to say that over this period, our organisation has grown from strength to strength. Our membership numbers have grown We've engaged with new sponsors and partners and also succeeded in the delivery of a number of virtual events and, of course, tonight's awards. Given the high quality and standard of the entries we have received, it's very apparent why the digital industry continues to grow and thrive, especially over the past couple of years. 
This is also clearly supported by the continued revenue growth we have experienced across our sector. The level of innovation and creativity we have displayed through, the ent through your entries, whether these have been for the benefit of your organization or for your customers, is simply outstanding. To be clear, we received a number of entries across five categories. The judges were unanimous in their feedback. The standard of the entries this year was exceptionally high and one of the toughest years yet to identify our winners. So whether you're a winner or a finalist tonight, you should be very proud that you've made it into such good company. As always, events like tonight do not happen without a considerable amount of hard work, financial support and organisation. To this point, I would like to take the opportunity to thank those involved. Firstly, I would like to thank our sponsors. We have really appreciated the way that you've continued to work with us as we weighed up the various options for tonight's events. Your unequivocal support has been amazing. I would also like to th take this opportunity to thank the IA Board New Zealand and our advisory councils for their continued support and dedication, not only to the IAB, but to the digital advertising industry in general. I would like to thank our members. Without your support, we would not continue to be such a successful organisation. I would like to thank our MC, Hayley Sproul. And last but certainly not least, I would like to thank our CEO, Jill Stewart, for her continued passion and drive and her ability to bring events like this to life. Thank you and good luck to all our finalists tonight. Thanks, Gareth. And of course, we wouldn't be here without the support of our sponsors. So a huge thank you to the ongoing support of Google, Lumo Digital Outdoor, Magnite, Marsden Inch, Meta, Nielsen, Rover, Salesforce, Trade Me, and TVNZ. We'd also like to extend a massive thank you to our record number of judges this year for taking the time out of their busy schedules to carefully consider each and every entry. This process ensures that judging meets the highest standard and reflects the increasingly competitive nature of these awards. Okay, let's get started and see who the winners are this year. The awards are split into five categories. Sales and ad operations, channel excellence, campaign effectiveness, data and effectiveness, and grand awards. First up are the Sales and Ad Operation Awards. In this category, the judges have awarded sales professionals that have truly excelled with their strategy in each channel within the digital ecosystem. This is the first of the 10 Sales and Ad Operations Awards, Display Sales Excellence. The finalist for this award is, is Pineapple on Pizza a Crime? Laura Craig, Discovery New Zealand. And it takes the first silver of the night. The judges said the key metric here is targeted results and shifting brand perception. When the competition want to have their slice of pizza too, it's a great sign of the uplift it must have delivered. Well done. Now, on to the Digital Out of Home Sales Excellence Award. We have two finalists in this category, Jack Plowright and Josh McWilliams, both from Lumo Digital Outdoor. And the winner for the Digital Out of Home Sales Excellence Award is... Josh McWilliams, Lumo Digital Outdoor, is awarded gold for his entry. The judges said a standout performance with growing revenue in a tough market. To achieve the numbers Josh has is a testament to the hard grafting done. Well done, Josh. The next award is for Native Sales Excellence. The finalist in this category is Lucy McDonald from Stuff. And she gets the silver. Judges commented, high engagement results are good to see as content by nature is an early exploration step in the customer journey. Well done, Lucy. All right, moving right along, the next award is for Social Sales Excellence. The finalist in this category is Helen Stein Brothers Discovery Commerce, Thomas Sefuiva and Angela Tong, Facebook. And it is awarded gold. Comments were, it's great that the focus was going beyond the click to drive real world sales. The trust in the media agency to execute this was good to see. All right, the next award we have is for Sponsorship Sales Excellence. The finalist in this category is Pizza Hut Bravo Box Set Sponsorship. Laura Craig, Discovery New Zealand. And it is awarded Silver. 
Judges said return on investment in the form of sales is by far the strongest indication of campaign success. Although sponsorship can be hard to measure as a whole, the success amalgamated with strong engagement by the targeted audience engaging with the creative's video. Well done. And our next award is for Video Sales Excellence. The finalist in this category is The Great Journeys of New Zealand, Sarah O'Carroll, VDX TV. And it takes home a well-deserving gold. Sarah understood the KPI and objectives and was able to leverage her knowledge of internal systems to build relevant audiences and deliver favourable results using the strong assets provided by the client. Does it sound like I know what I'm talking about? I don't, but well done. And now we have the Junior Ad Operations Excellence Award. The finalists are Deshaun Pelle, Sailing Towards a Bright Future, Dentsu, Georgia Matheson, NZME, and Rochi Vidal, Discovery New Zealand. And the winner is... Rochi Vidal, Discovery New Zealand, takes home a gold. The judges said it was great to see knowledge gained across so many platforms. Up I. And now we have the Senior Ad Operations Excellence Award. The finalists are Sarah Barnett, NZME, and Yan Ping Jono Zhang, TVNZ. And the gold goes to Yan Ping Jono Zhang from TVNZ. A great approach to training graduates and developing them to become well equipped ad ops talent circulating in the digital landscape in New Zealand. Having been at TVNZ since 2007, it's a massive sign that you've kept up with the times and are teaching the next generation of media people. Nice work. And here we have the Digital Excellence Award for the individual. Our finalists are Alistair Merritt, NZME, Holly Shepherd, Discovery New Zealand, Catherine Blackmore, Met Service, and Skipper Lomiwes, TVNZ. And the winner for Digital Excellence for an individual is... Skipper Lomawes from TVNZ, congratulations, you have won gold. Amazing to see that your achievements, despite distractions with lockdowns, still manage to deliver strong results. The highlight is hitting and exceeding the five-year target goal within one year by 9%. Well done, Skipper. Next, we have the Digital Excellence Award for a team. We had a large number of finalists in this category, which is a testament to the quality of these entries. Congratulations to the Discovery Digital Sales Team, the Little But Fierce Team at Digital Commons, Lumo Digital Outdoor, NZME Digital, and the TVNZ Sales Team. And the gold for Digital Excellence Team goes to... NZME Digital. Well done to Charlotte Bell, Andy Wiley, and Greg Lockton. Judges commented that, looking at the key developments in data integration and AI machine learning, they really showed innovation and gave the option to be able to offer usable data that clients and brands were able to use. To have revenue growth of 17.6% year on year in this climate is a great testament to how NZME pivoted and innovated through these tough times. So well done. And just like that, we're moving on to the second category this evening, the Channel Excellence Awards, of which there are eight awards being judged in this category. Judges have awarded digital-led campaigns that have truly excelled with the utilisation of digital channels to increase performance, customer engagement, influence purchase behaviour, and drive the customer's ROI. Each of the winners have demonstrated how they have developed their digital channel advertising strategy, including creative and innovative production to the execution, distribution, and promotion of the campaign. I'm really using my acting degree here to pretend I know what those words mean. The first award in this category is the Best Use of Audio Award, sponsored by Rover. Over 20 million impressions, access to terrestrial streams, demo targeting, geo-targeting, geo-fencing, shake me, and dynamic creative opportunities. Introducing digital audio ad insertion, coming soon to Rover. Here is a stat for you. Oh, I love a good stat. With over 930,000 downloads already, 
and nearly 4.9 million monthly streams from over a million unique monthly visitors, 3.9 million monthly listening hours, up 3% on last year, and an average of 16 hours per streaming visitor each month, up 5% on last year. Reach a growing and more engaged audience with Rover. Podcasts are one of the fastest growing mediums, with nearly a third of New Zealanders consuming podcasts each week. MediaWorks podcasts continue to surge, with our top five on average up 76% year on year. With continued investment to reach more audiences, increase engagement, and provide more exciting content. Whose idea was it to do this stupid podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Yours, I think. Rover's where you want to be. Please welcome to the virtual stage, Richie Kolf, Head of Digital Audio at MediaWorks, to present the award for Best Use of Audio. Thanks for the intro, Hayley. Digital Audio boasts the fastest recent revenue growth of the general display channel. And as more and more Kiwis discover podcasting and switch to digital consumption of their favourite radio, the opportunities to leverage its capabilities with creative executions and targeting bring exciting possibilities for clients to connect with audiences and spaces where they've previously been unreachable. The finalist for best use of audio is Corona Surf Reports. Congratulations. Thank you, Richie. Congratulations to the collaborative efforts of Matt Tattle and Saj Patel from NZME, Graham James at AdSwiz, and from Mediacom we have Alice Franklin, Amy McKinnon and George Coslett, and from Lion, Ray Schultz. NZME takes home the Silver Award. The judges stated it was an amazing approach to make personalised audio at scale. While audio technology has sometimes lagged behind other digital mediums, this approach, leveraging real-time data to factor in a number of possible variations, is superb and really showcases what is possible with audio. Well done. And we're moving on to the Best Use of Display Award. The finalists are Beating Banner Blindness and Dynamically Driving Mazda Sales. The silver goes to... Dynamically Driving Mazda Sales MBM. This was a great example of working with a client to extract insights and implement campaign strategy accordingly. Great to see a nice user experience thought into a display strategy. And taking home the gold is Beating Banner Blindness together. This campaign is truly remarkable. It augmented an old method and improved it for the user experience, the advertiser and the publisher partners in one fell swoop. This is the future of banner ads if brands want to engage its target rather than be ignored. Well played. Okay, this next award is the Best Use of Digital Out of Home, sponsored by Lumo Digital Outdoor. Presenting the award is Phil Clemis, co-founder and CEO, Lumo Digital Outdoor. Thank you, Hayley. Since the introduction of Digital Out of Home to New Zealand in 2013, the channel has grown significantly and clearly cemented itself as the preferred out of home format by most brands and agencies. With its flexibility, contextual relevance and dynamic nature, along with out of home's traditional broadcast reach and impact, there's no wonder we're seeing more amazing use of digital out of home as this year's entries have shown. The finalists are Electoral Commission, Voter Concierge, Range Rover, Lights On, and The Rock 2000 Dynamic Digital Out of Home. Thank you, Phil. MediaWorks take home a silver for their entry, The Rock 2000 Dynamic Digital Out of Home. The judges said it was a great idea to use the hyper-local nature of digital out of home and deliver it in a smart and contextually relevant way. And a big congratulations to our gold winner, FCB New Zealand for Electoral Commission Voter Concierge. 
The judges' comments were a highly customised and unique approach with good tech and smart data. A refreshingly strong approach to solutions in this space. Well done. Alrighty folks, now to the best use of mobile award. The finalists are AA Traveller, Kiwi Gems, Dardanator and Westpac Rashies. And the award goes to... Westpac Rashies FCB New Zealand receives a silver award for their entry. Comments were an innovative community project with a worthy cause, executed with multiple partners, achieving great traction and functionality. And our gold goes to... Together for their entry, Dartonator. Judges said tangible results that can be attributed to this campaign. Given the highly competitive nature of the QSR category and customer switching behaviour, this campaign delivered. Well done. All right, my friends, next up is the Best Use of Native Award. And the finalists are MSN New Zealand Editorial Native Accelerates Suzuki New Zealand, News Hub Partnership with Surf Life Saving New Zealand, TSB, KFC and Toyota Financial Services, and NZME and Tourism Australia. The winner for Best Use of Native is... NZME and Tourism Australia, congratulations Lloyd Aitken, Maggie Campbell and Anna Lloyd for taking away a silver. Comments included, the strategy made good sense in making the audience reconsider Australia as a travel destination in a different light to how they had before. Now it is time for the Best Use of Social Award, which is sponsored by Meta. And here to present the award for best use of social, please welcome Spencer Bailey, head of Meta New Zealand. Social media has become one of the most influential places for businesses to network, raise brand awareness, improve brand loyalty, and increase traffic and performance. The best use of social award recognizes a brand that has used social at the heart of a media campaign and celebrates the creativity and innovation that is involved in achieving outstanding results. This was one of our most popular awards with a high calibre of entries across the board. Congratulations to all the finalists. We have Griffin's Bicky Elections with Medal in the New Zealand Election, Neon from Rivals to Roommates, Ordered from Here by McDonald's, Pack and Save in Stickman, Period Power, the greatest Trans Tasman get together ever. Tui Hard Soda, Drop the Act, and Water Safety New Zealand, Personalising Danger. Why, thank you, Spencer. And the silver goes to FCB New Zealand for Pack and Save Instagram. I love the name, I get it. Congratulations. The judges said this whole entry shows a natural progression from insights and objectives, forming the strategy and implementation to results that exceed their objectives. Also receiving a silver is Water Safety New Zealand Personalising Danger. Another for FCB New Zealand, congratulations. Judges commented, it's impressive how they have used multiple data sources to predict and intercept their audience at the right moments. Great use of social. And our gold winner for best use of social is Griffin's Bicky Elections from the team at MBM. Awesome results with realistic benchmarks and year-on-year -year growth. Well-defined and clearly relating back to the insights and objectives. Kapai. The next award in Channel Excellence is for the best use of sponsorship. The finalists in this category are Meridian Amped, Stir Your Creativity with Bombay Sapphire, The Forever Project Sponsorship, and V Energy Game Changer. And the first silver for best use of sponsorship goes to the Forever Project Sponsorship Stuff. And the judges simply stated, brilliant work, well done. 
And our second silver goes to the energy game changer OMD New Zealand. The judges said great multi-pronged implementation that ticks the boxes on contact points for the target audience. And the gold for best use of sponsorship goes to Meridian Ant, another award in this category for OMD New Zealand. A very well executed campaign and a great result. And last but not least, the last award in this category, best use of video sponsored by Magnite. Presenting the award for best use of video, please welcome Jill Stewart, CEO of IAB New Zealand, on behalf of Yale Millbank, Managing Director, Magnite New Zealand. Thanks Hayley. With the consumption of IP delivered video content surging globally, it continues to create fantastic opportunities for advertisers to utilise the powerful combination of audio and moving images in a digital world. This year's entries are good examples of local advertisers seizing that opportunity. Our finalist for the best use of video is America's Cup William Wairoa Content Series, TVNZ, Toyota and Starcom from TVNZ. Thank you, Jill. And this campaign takes away the silver. Congratulations. It was acknowledged that each America's Cup drives more interest and media coverage than the previous. Great results. Massive congratulations to all our winners of the Channel Excellence Awards. And now for the third category of the awards tonight, the Campaign Effectiveness Awards. Judges have awarded campaigns that have truly excelled in their strategic approach in which digital played a key role. The first award in this category is the Best Brand Campaign Award. The finalists are Defender, Reimagining an Icon, Medal in the New Zealand Election, and Westpac Rashies. And the first award goes to Defender, Reimagining an Icon, Together. You're taking away the silver. The judges stated solid and well considered series of executions. And the Gold Award for Best Brand Campaign goes to Medal in the New Zealand Election. Big congratulations to Special Group. Well done. Next up, we have Best Campaign on a Budget. The finalists are Datanator, Medal in the New Zealand Election, The Māori Party, Believe, and Water Safety New Zealand, Personalising Danger. Our first Silver Award for Best Campaign on a Budget goes to Datanator, together. Overall, great result in achieving objective. Smart use of available data and platform to help achieve these results. Well done. Also taking away a silver is Medal in the New Zealand Election by Special Group. The strategy clearly understands the audience and what is required to deliver results. Starting with education and delivering into one of the few channels that can reach international Kiwis with limited budgets. Great plan. And taking away the gold this evening is Water Safety New Zealand, Personalising Danger, FCB New Zealand. Some very strong overall campaign and channel related results and the big result that counted most, zero deaths. A good insight well used through relevant and key digital channels, well done. The next award is the Best Charity Campaign. The finalist in this category, and for the fourth time tonight, is Medal in the New Zealand Election Special Group. And they take away yet another silver. A massive congratulations once again. A very good night for you. This next award is the Best Integrated Digital Exclusive Campaign. The finalist is AMP Hard Reset FCB New Zealand. And it takes the silver. A fresh and brave approach as a strategy. Strong results and a very happy client. Congrats. The next award in this category is the Best Multi-Channel Integration Campaign. The finalists are Defender, Reimagining an Icon, Pepsi, No Sugars Given, 
Tourism Australia, Think You Know Australia, Think Again, and Waka Kotahi New Zealand Transport Agency, Ridden. And the silver goes to... NZME for Tourism Australia, Think You Know Australia, Think Again. The judges said clear demonstration of the strategic approach and the use of the insight to build out the focus proposition. Channeling Kiwis to rethink what they think they know about Australia and doing this through undiscovered gems and passion points are great ways to connect. Congratulations team. And the gold goes to Defender Reimagining an Icon Together. A solid and well-considered series of executions. Exceptional results, well done. All right, my friends, the final award in this category is for the best performance campaign. The finalists are AMP Hard Reset, Countdown from Mailer to the Future, and also from Countdown, Countdown the Magic of Three. And the silver award for best performance campaign goes to Countdown from Mailer to the Future. They said, clearly sophisticated data connection, well thought out strategy. And Countdown takes away another silver for Countdown, the magic of three from Dentsu. Elegant strategy and execution, simple to comprehend in terms of behavior and goal with smart use of tech to implement. And the gold award goes to AMP Hard Reset FCB New Zealand. Really well explained, solid campaign. As documented, solid, iterative and results focused work. Well done. Okay, now we move on to the third category, the Data and Effectiveness Awards. This is an increasingly important component of the digital advertising sector. Data and effectiveness underpins everything we do in digital advertising. Looking at the campaigns that are awarded, this gives us an insight into what we can expect in our sector in the future as we lift the bonnet and look at the engine of digital advertising. The first award in this category is the Best Use of Data Campaign Targeting Award, sponsored by TradeMe. We're all searching for something, right? Some want to move up. Others want to move out. He found the perfect job, and she found a weird little car she loves. Whatever you're searching for, go to the place more Kiwis trust to find it. It's Trade Me. Presenting the award for Best Use of Data, Campaign Targeting, please welcome Anna Miles, Sales and Operations Director, Trade Me Advertising. Thank you, Hayley. The Best Use of Data Campaign Targeting Award is about rewarding the best use of data and insights to form a campaign target segment. Campaigns needed to reflect a targeted approach that is truly data-driven. Now more than ever, we have a granular insight into how campaigns perform and how to build effective audience segments for optimal targeting. The winner of this award has truly demonstrated how audience segments creational modeling has led to campaign success. A hugely popular category this year, and our finalists are Countdown, The Magic of Three, Datanator, Electoral Commission Voter Concierge, Maita 10, Finding Future Innovators Today, Probabilistic Programmatic, and Water Safety New Zealand, Personalising Danger. Thank you, Anna. And Datanator takes home the silver. Nice use of POI data and going beyond general retargeting to look into timeframes and geography. Well done. The team at FCB New Zealand for Mitre 10 Finding Future Renovators today also takes away another silver. The judges noticed that it was a huge body of work with many working parts and multiple audience segments to speak to. Well done. And the gold for best use of data campaign targeting is Electoral Commission Voter Concierge FCB New Zealand. Great use of preemptive action here to increase earlier voting, new locations, days and times. Insight into on-the-go spontaneous voters was particularly useful here. Well done. 
Next up in this category is the Best Use of Data, Campaign Measurement and Optimization Award. This award is sponsored by Nielsen. Please welcome Nick Whitehead, Associate Director, Nielsen. Thanks, Haley. It's my pleasure to introduce the Best Use of Data Campaign Measurement and Optimization Award. There is always a need for measurement of campaigns to ensure the advertisers are getting their best bang for their buck. And in the digital age, it's critical that advertising can be optimized to achieve even better results during campaigns and in the future. And the finalists are AMP Hard Reset, Attention Time, the next generation for measurement and optimization and Trade Me Motors, getting under the hood of car buyer value. Thank you very much, Nick. And the silver goes to AMP Hard Reset FCB New Zealand. The comments were that it is very strong and succinct in understanding outcomes. And the gold goes to Trade Me Motors, getting under the hood of car buyer value, MBM. Impressive and detailed work plus clear methodology. Well done. Okay, next we have the Best Use of Programmatic Award, sponsored by Google. It goes lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the highlight. That's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. So many different things to do within the high life. Please welcome Craig Whitaker, Platforms Lead, Google New Zealand. Thanks Hayley. Kiwis pride themselves on being early adopters of technology and our use of programmatic is a great example of this, with New Zealand having a very high adoption rate against our global counterparts. This was also a hotly contested category with lots of great examples of advanced programmatic practices. I'm excited to announce the finalists of the best use of programmatic, which recognises the best programmatic lead campaign, demonstrating not only clear results stemming from the use of programmatic, but also showcasing an efficient use of technology, best-in-class processes and effective placements. And here are the best of the best. Beating Banner Blindness. Electoral Commission Voter Concierge. Mitre 10 Finding Future Innovators Today. Probabilistic Programmatic. And Whose Line Is It Anyway? Thank you very much, Craig. Electoral Commission Voter Concierge FCB New Zealand takes home another silver tonight. The second silver for best use of programmatic is Probabilistic programmatic together. Bit of a tongue twister. And our goal for this category is Mitre 10 Finding Future Renovators Today, FCB New Zealand. Good creative angle and great results. Okay, next up we have the Best Use of SEM and or SEO Award. Another increasingly popular category this year. The finalists are Ain't no tower high enough, AI and human smarts conquer the volume versus value conundrum. Before and after, the insane return on ad spend for raw essentials. Countdown, Christmas search, revolutionising the trade me search monolith and SEO wars, the tortoise and the hares. And our silver award winner is... Revolutionising the Trade Me Search Monolith, MBM. Congratulations. And the gold for best use of SEM and or SEO goes to... SEO Wars, the Tortoise and the Hares. Pure SEO, an exceptional entry. All right, my friends, the final award in this category is for the best use of technology, sponsored by Salesforce.
welcome Rachel Bayfield, Account Director, Marketing Cloud New Zealand. Thanks, Hayley. Given the state of flux in our industry in recent times, data-driven marketers have turned to technology platforms to support us in delivering incredible campaign results. Embracing technology solutions enable us to use data at scale, to deliver personalization, lean on AI to help us learn about our customers, be relevant and present in key moments, and build omni-channel customer experiences that go beyond a single communication touchpoint. We've seen an increase in both interest and entries in this category as ad tech and martech vendors continue to evolve at pace. The awarded entries tonight give us insight into the possibilities that technology is beginning to unlock in digital advertising. So the finalists are Electoral Commission, Voter Concierge, Mitre 10, Finding Future Renovators Today, and NZME, New Zealand Herald Karma. Thank you, Rachel. The first silver goes to Mitre 10, Finding Future Renovators Today, FCB New Zealand. Creative messaging is a strong point that really resonates. Results are solid. The second silver for this award goes to NZME, New Zealand Herald, Karma. Congratulations, Richard Wright and Andy Wiley. The judges said, wow, sophisticated engine to build in-house. Good effort, great result, and nicely aligned with strategy. And our gold winner for best use of technology is Electoral Commission Voter Concierge, FCB New Zealand. Excellent implementation and a great result. All right, you lovely people, it's time for the final category in our virtual show, the Grand Awards. The first award in this category is for the Digital Product of the Year. This award is being presented to a finalist that has demonstrated innovation in developing a product built in New Zealand that has delivered New Zealand advertisers with hugely successful digital advertising campaigns. The finalists are Ad Merchant by Ad Trek and D4 goes Trans Tasman. And the Grand Award winner for Digital Product of the Year goes to D4 goes Trans Tasman. Congratulations, Richard Pook and Bram Stevens from Dentsu. The judges commented that it is a great disruptive tool that provides real value for clients at scale with cost efficiencies attached to reach. D4 appears to be a robust digital product. Well done. This next grand award is for the Council Member of the Year. IAB New Zealand has four councils, all of whom provide a substantial support through thought leadership and content delivery for members. This award recognises an individual who has contributed to growing and shaping the industry by participating in a council. The finalists are Gary Joseph, Mediacom, and Sarah O'Carroll, VDX TV. The Council Member of the Year goes to Gary Joseph, Mediacom. Gary is diligent and professional and consistently delivers within the project team he's been assigned to. His thought leadership and delivery makes him a pivotal member of this council. Congratulations, Gary. The next grand award is for Emerging Talent. This award recognises individuals with less than three years of experience in the industry in a digital media role, who exemplifies emerging talent by displaying commitment, motivation, willingness to learn, courage under pressure, self-confidence, organisational skills and a readiness to go that extra mile. Please welcome Robert Roydhouse, Director of Marsden Inch, to present this award. Thank you, Hayley. Talent is critical to all of us today, whether it be finding people, training, mentoring and encouraging people, and perhaps most importantly, retaining these people. This year's entries have blown us away and have provided adequate proof of the smart, ambitious people we all have starting 
or progressing their careers in our sector. Congratulations to each of our emerging talent finalists in this highly contested award. And they are Anna Maycott, Discovery New Zealand, Edward Gould, OMD, Kate Kim, TVNZ, Katie Eder, Group M, Mikshu Patel, MBM, Shu Ying Tan, MBM, and Thomasina Faral, MBM. Thank you very much, Rob. And the grand award for emerging talent is Katie Eder, Group M. The judges commented, Katie is clearly valued by her agency management and has clearly demonstrated a huge capacity to learn and appears to have maturity beyond her three years in the industry. She goes above and beyond her immediate responsibilities and appears to deliver on behalf of her clients. Well done. Here to present the Service to the Industry Grand Award is Gareth Codd, Chair, IAB New Zealand. The Service to the Industry Award is given to an individual who has been part of the New Zealand digital fabric for over a decade and is known and respected by many. They've had an outstanding digital career and given back tirelessly to the industry over and above their day job. Congratulations to each of our finalists. Michael Bahaja, Playground XYZ, Rhys Heron, MI9, Saraj Barnawa, together, Wendy Thompson, Socialites Group. And the winner is Rhys Heron, MI9. Rhys has been a long-standing board member of the IAB Museum, including a period as chair of Mobile Council, and recently held the position of chair IAB New Zealand from September 2018 to September 2021. During his time as chair, he really invigorated the organisation, bringing a new strategy and direction. I'm pleased to say we have not lost his valid contribution to the IAB and as he remains on the board today. Please join with me in congratulating this year's Service to the Industry Award winner, Rhys Heron. Thank you, Gareth, and a big congratulations to you, Rhys. And now, guys, it is the much-anticipated Agency of the Year Award, sponsored by Google. This award is for an advertising or media agency that has demonstrated a strategy which drives digital growth and a commitment to driving digital development, engagement and thought leadership, as well as demonstrating both innovative and successful client delivery across digitally-led campaigns. We've had a record number of entries, all of which were highly contested. It goes lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the highlight. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. So many different things to do than the high. Please welcome Liz Gore, Head of Agency and Ecosystem, Google New Zealand. Thanks Hayley. On behalf of Google, I am delighted to announce the finalists for the Agency of the Year Award. The Agency of the Year Award recognises an advertising or media agency that has demonstrated excellence and innovation in the development and implementation of digital executions that have also resulted in successful campaign metrics and ROI. At Google, we are so proud of the work all our agencies produce. Even in changing conditions, you all continue to demonstrate innovation and creativity in how you use our platforms. Congratulations to each of our finalists, and here they are. A roller coaster year, how a new agency strategy delivered MBM digital growth. MBM. Socialites Group. The Total Package, FCB Media. Transforming the industry together. Together. Thank you, Liz. The Agency of the Year goes to a roller coaster year. How a new agency strategy delivered MBM digital growth. MBM. The judges commented so great to see the focus on people first within the agency not only on professional upskilling, but also on a 360-degree approach to their people's well-being and development. 
Also, the recruitment expansion program supporting Māori and Pacific graduates to join the industry is to be applauded. MBM are taking action and no doubt will realise the benefits of diverse voices in the room. Bravo. Okay, team, now we really have saved the very best for last. And it's something that I personally always strive to achieve, the best in shop. This award is sponsored by my personal friends who helped get me on the telly, TVNZ, and presented by TVNZ commercial director, Jodie O'Donnell. TVNZ On Demand offers a suite of tried and tested advanced ad solutions that our advertisers love. What's more, many of these products are 100% exclusive to TVNZ. Our strong partnership with global ad innovation leader Innovid continues to deliver new and exclusive solutions for our advertisers. Because with TVNZ On Demand, it's yours. Please welcome to the virtual stage, TVNZ Commercial Director, Jodie O'Donnell. Thanks Hayley. Kia ora koutou. Best in show is eligible to any gold winner from the award categories of sales and ad operations, channel excellence, campaign effectiveness, data and effectiveness, or any of the grand awards. To win this award, one must not only have won gold from one of these categories, but must truly be the best of the best showcasing excellence and standing out from the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to be awarding this to a campaign from an agency that has already taken home 14 awards tonight, six golds and eight silvers, with this outstanding entry winning three golds and a silver already tonight. This is none other than FCB New Zealand with the Electoral Commission Voter Concierge. Huge congratulations to your team for the outstanding work you've put into this campaign. The judges said this innovative approach by the agency to create and build custom solutions in-house using good tech and smart data. Also, great use of preemptive action here to increase earlier voting with new locations, days and times. Great out of the box thinking. Congratulations. Thank you, Jody, and congratulations to all of our winners this evening. It was truly an outstanding level of work submitted in what had to be one of the most challenging years as an industry to date. You should all be so proud of the achievements you've made, both individually and collaboratively. Together with your creativity and commitment to the industry, you're constantly evolving the face of the digital advertising landscape to be more entertaining and engaging for our consumers. Keep pushing the boat out. Finally, a big thank you to you for tuning in to the very first IAB New Zealand Digital Advertising Awards. We look forward to being back with you again in person for the 2022 awards on the 17th of November this year. Save that date. Again, a big thank you to all of the experienced judges who spent time reading and evaluating the entries. Thanks again to each of our sponsors, Google, Lumo Digital Outdoor, Magnite, Marsden Inch, Meta, Nielsen, Rover, Salesforce, Trade Me, and my bosses, TVNZ. Thank you to each of our partners that have worked behind the scenes to deliver this showcase. And thank you once again for watching the 2021 IAB New Zealand Digital Advertising Awards. Have a great night.